Hello everyone, welcome to the EliteWaveDashForecast.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry and uh, today is Thursday, August 29th. Uh, the time is around 2 a.m. GMT. So today we will be updating the chart of gold. This is a short term chart, 45 minutes. Uh, so what we can see right here, uh, we are still looking for gold to extend higher. You can see in the right side still remains to be green which means we do like the bias is still remains to be on the upside uh, and we got here with one right here and then this is your with two uh, as a double zigzag correction and then since then gold resume higher again now we got this with uh, so we are basically within the wave three based on this uh, count here right and the wave three subdivides into uh, five waves in a lower degree so you got with one of three, with two of three, uh, and then now we should continue to see more upside. Now we just uh, our members just bought it here uh, in the live trading room since uh, you know we do like further upside and we got the three pull back and uh, uh, it enters at the right area to be uh, you know what we call the extreme area uh, in the blue box and. Um, We've since taken a long position, and the position now is already risk-free, meaning we have already, uh, you know, moved on the stop loss to the entry level. And therefore, uh, there should be no risk in case if you know if gold decides to drop again, then we should get out, you know, uh, at the break-even. So now uh, we are looking for for the upside here in gold. As far as uh, we can, uh, obviously, uh, it's important to stay above here. I if it turns lower and break up below here, that means it's going to be doing a double zigzag from the peak, and then you know the count will become a double zigzag, and this is going to find another support at the next extreme area here. Okay, for for the upside. But otherwise, uh, if if uh, gold can continue to see for the upside, then uh, we should be rallying from where we are. Uh, and going to new high now this view only is going to be confirmed at this point if gold can break above this 1555 which is the previous high okay now if you look at the larger degree now uh, I want to highlight a couple of things uh, in the larger degree now this is your uh, 2015 low and this is your 2016 this one is your 2018 low alright so we're gonna start by looking from the 2018 low uh, from here now if you measure the uh, extension here now this looks no doubt about it this looks impulsive the whole rally and uh, currently uh, as you know with three in the elite with theory typically has the relation is the strongest and the longest wave and typically has a 161.8 at least extension uh, if using Fibonacci right ratio uh, and this is the uh, the 161.8 percent extension uh, which is around 1568 and that's why there is a possibility we continue to see more upside and by the way this is not the exact level I mean it's not like a level in which after hitting it is gonna stop or anything like that it's just a guideline typically with three is the strongest and uh, usually will have at least 161.8 doesn't have to be exact doesn't have to stop uh, but typically as a guideline that's what we are looking for so that's why there is a possibility still gold continues to extend higher next target is going to be 1568 uh, on the upside if we look at it from the uh, 2018 low now if you look at it from this 2017 now you can argue that the whole thing is another like a, an impulse right so this could be your with one this could be with two and then this could be with three so in fact we are in a nest right in the LF theory uh, we have a nest in fact from 2015 we can have another nest so it's, it can be a one two one two and this is one two again everything is uh, you know a nest so now if you look at it from the uh, 2016 if you measure the extension here now you will notice that gold has hit the 161.8% uh, to the to the exact dollar right 1555 and that's why you see the reaction because it responds right it responds from certain uh, Fibonacci number and that's why you see the sell-off uh, or the pullback I would I wouldn't say a sell-off but just like a, a little pullback in gold so if you look at it from here then yeah we do reach the 161.8 already but like I said it's not like uh, it's not like when you hit it definitely it's done or anything like that and besides uh, you still got an extension here 
Uh, so meaning you can assume this is still only wave 3 and so therefore it's not done uh, eventually it can go higher again in a wave 5 right even if we decide to do a wave 4 still it's going to have a wave 5 since we do have an extension on the third wave now uh, so if from here from 2016 we hit the 161 but from 2018 we still got a scope to reach 1568 and then if you r measure it from 2015 that's going to give you another number uh, and you can see if I measure it from the 2015 right so let's assume we are in some sort of a nest a one two one two so then uh, you can see right here the 1.618 is way above at 1655 right so uh, so like I said uh, we got a couple of different numbers depending on where you measure it uh, but if you look at it from 2015 we can go to 1655 right which is the 161.8 so the entire rally therefore can continue to be uh, you know for example we can this one this one two this can go to 1568 we can pull back in the way four of this degree and then we go go higher again and then uh, ending with three of this degree right with three of this degree one two three like this and then do a bigger pullback in this degree with four and then higher again uh, and go to 1655 and that is only with three of this from 2015 right so the entire thing here uh, can continue to see more upside uh, as you guys know gold has already broken against everything else um, with the exception of the US dollars right if you look at gold the chart of gold against the euro against the yen against Aus Australian dollars it has already broken to new high against everybody else so <clears throat> and it just can I mean like for example against the euro it just broke to new all-time high this week so whenever uh, whenever commodity like gold uh, made a new all-time high typically it can double it can double in value in the next few years uh, because uh, that is a sign that okay it has already started the next like higher so uh, gold against all the other world currency is very very strong and they wouldn't stop on the upside uh, in the next few months few years and same can be said because if if gold continues to go higher against everybody else uh, then even the US dollar is not immune even the US dollar right now is also very strong due to the status as the world's reserve currency right but gold is even uh, you know if it's even stronger at this point right so I think you can consider like if you uh, make a relative strength relative weakness gold is now is like uh, position is number one as an alternative currency right because gold a lot of people also consider it as a money right and then um, after that is US dollars because US dollar is also very strong if you measure it against other paper currency but gold is uh, the strongest of them all right now uh, so that's what we are looking for guys now of course this is more like a larger degree um, you know big picture point of view but just in the shorter cycle I would say uh, this is the shorter cycle here still looking for for the upset potentially next target potentially is around 1560 and that's just kind of like a, a minimum kind of target on the upside as far as we can stay above here now if they for some reason gold breaks down then again it's going to be doing a double from here it's going to find another buyer at the next uh, extreme area over here okay so if you guys enjoy this video please uh, do like and subscribe as well as try our service we have 14 days free trial uh, the link is provided in the description of the video um, below here okay so thanks very much everyone and see you all again next time have a nice day